thing. I can't believe it. <laughs> I just popped a silver freaking dime. Look at that. How cool. Nineteen sixty four just made it. It's a baby. Beautiful. I knew there's treasure here. So Dinwiddie and I were just kind of digging this beach. I actually dug here for a whole night. I didn't have my camera. All I got was clad. And look at that. Can't believe it. This got a little flat button. Dang, let me wash that up. Yeah, it's got a nice little design on there. Ooh. Let's see if I can get you guys a close-up picture, man. That thing's beautiful. Look at that. Nice shank. Huh. That's a little older than I expected to get anything off this beach, to be honest. That's great. So the reason why there's a bunch of little hunts is because this is just after work. I just have like an hour or two before it gets dark. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of like wave lines, like erosion lines on the lake shore. And I think so what's happened this year is it's actually pulled some stuff out of there that I couldn't hear before. Because, I mean, I've just been killing the clad. I'm hoping to get like a gold ring, to be honest, but... Man, a little flat button. I'd rather have that than a gold ring, I think. Yeah, it's hard to say. I just love relics. Anyways, I brought my small coil today so I can get in the rocks. Boy, it's really paying off. So, anyways, I might have to do a couple nights here. You can see, I got lots of rocks to look through. And this is a major swimming area. And, you know, historically, it was a swimming area. So, anyways, let's keep going. Man, I'm jazzed up. Nice button. So, I moved this little rock right here. I see a ring. Boom. Oh, that's gonna be sterling. Heck yeah. Man, what a great night this has turned into. Let me, uh, it's just a plain band, but I'm curious if it's gonna say sterling or 925 in it. Kind of help us date it a little bit. Well, there is some markings, but they're uh, they're kind of uh, wore off. That's for sure, Sterling. Huh? He says he got some we're, stuff. We're so good, I had to put it in the box. Whoa, <laughs> man, you're fancy. I don't even get. Yeah, how pretty that is. You know what's so crazy about this ring right here? I found nearly the exact same ring in this exact same swimming hole. That's funny. Yeah, it's Mark Sterling inside, so it's older. Yeah, so that's definitely a men's Sterling. But that gem is a Montana Moss Agate. Yours is a strange color. Not strange, but mine's more clear. Yours is more tan. Yeah, it's similar to the other one I got as far as the shape goes, because I got another one with an agate in it. Dude, that's beautiful though. Check that oh one. yeah, that's for sure. I don't even need to. <laughs> that's for sure sterling. I got part of the stone. All right. It looked like it had some kind of marking on the back. So that's definitely supposed to be a bear claw. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, and then of course, clat. There's the stone. He says right there, the little chunk of turquoise. Yeah, cool pendant. I'm sure that says sterling on there I somewhere. I think on the back it can barely make out an s back there somewhere but dang it's so scratched up <sighs> nice finds but yeah that's really killer yeah <laughs> uh, look at that dinwiddie on fire that's three silver day yeah now i got a 45 wheat weeds crusty Silver's beautiful. <laughs> Dang, look at these waves breaking. <laughs> this is a freshwater lake. That's awesome. It was actually quite a bit worse a second ago. But 
Maybe I'll catch it here again in a second. All right. Dinwiddie and I are hitting a little home site he found. He's dug a, for a couple hours. He said he didn't get too much, but I just dug like a little latch for like a chest or something. And then this right here is a sheep tag. That's really yeah. cool. I love getting these. This one, they usually have a person's name on it. This one doesn't. This one's just got the, I guess, the number of the sheep. But that's a cool old relic. Love to get those. See what else we can get. Well, look at that. I got a heart. And somebody shot it. Maybe it was a scorned lover. <laughs> well, I'm going to have a hard time cleaning that up for you, but I did take a peek. It is a weedy, and it's 1916. So, hey, that's not bad. Almost uh, getting down in the Indian head penny range. Look at that awesome button. That's a big old locomotive button. That's awesome. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> Didn't know what he got here for me. He got half a Croto Bell. The second one ever. Well, his hey, I'll take a half. One and a half one. <laughs> one and a half. <laughs> so I just dug what I think is going to be a military button. But the spot I dug it, unfortunately, is right in the foundation. And there is a big fire, no doubt. And this is definitely melted. And it's ringing like a penny. So you know it's a... You know, it's a nice button. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to get anything off there. Dinwiddie says he thinks he sees an anchor. I don't think I might see an anchor, too. Of course, I might just be me wanting it to be something. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can get. Well, dang, I just got a really old key. Yeah. wonder what car that's off of. Got the little number on there, 0270. Let me see if I can uh, figure out what car. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know. It says Briggs and Stratton. Doesn't really say what kind of car or anything. One of you guys probably knows. So we've kind of hammered this place. Done a few episodes here, so. Yeah, targets are a little slim, but hey, there's some hardware. Well, that's kind of a fancy little suspender button. That actually clean up pretty nice. Cool. Well, looky here. I got myself part of a crotal bell. Nice. Looks like I got another piece of crotal bell. I don't think that's part of Dinwiddie's either. Or my other one. Well, look at that. I found an old plate. That sounded pretty good. Oh, awesome. I got a Shirley president here. That's cool. It's a little rough. So there's this apple tree down here, and I thought I'd come see if there's anything down here. Not a lot, but there's this. Dang, it's like a little saucer. Key, anyone? <laughs> I don't know what Dinwiddie's doing over there. <laughs> when are we filming something of yours, buddy? I just got... <laughs> he says when I just find... When I find something, <laughs> I just got a suspender clip. Or at least part of one. Look at that ice and snow. That's not going to stop us. Do a little uh, metal detecting out here in the lake. Now it's low. I've hammered this for years and years. I've got lots of old stuff, jewelry, you name it. Uh, so, I don't know how successful this will be. We're hoping for some uh, drops. This is a swimming hole, so hopefully there were some fresh drops from last year. We can't actually access all of it right now. But, I don't want to sit on the couch. Let's do some digging. All right, here's my first signal. Let's see what it is. Probably like a dime, but obviously we're hoping for 
some jewelry. All right, that was a lot of work, but Penny. Well, right next to it or close by, dime. <laughs> Another dime. I mean, okay, so this isn't great stuff, but I'm just shocked I'm finding stuff. I mean, I hit this so hard every year. Penny. Quota. Well, where there's clad, there's jewelry, so maybe we're on to something. Dang, I'm just killing the clad. Quota. Dime. Well, I was excited for that one. Nickel. Because, you know, nickels could easily be a gold ring. Quarter. Quarter. You know, it's funny. I used to get about $1,000 a year in clad. And now that I'm digging mostly homesteads, I never dig clad. <laughs> well, there it is. That just shows you. Man, I can't believe I got a buffalo nickel just now. Clean it up a little. Uh, that's so crazy. I have been over this and over this and over this for years. Got a lot of good stuff. Missed this one. Crazy. Well, it looks like a no dater, unfortunately, but. Well. Oh, by the way, guys, I just quit showing you clad. There's just, you know, you guys have seen coins. I was just going to kind of show you if I got something good after that. But there it is. Boom. Well, I guess that was exciting for a second until I saw the word Claire's on it. So, now that I got it cleaned up a little better, there is a very faint date on there. 1929. The mint mark... I think is an S. Not in great shape, but cool. <laughs>